Hi everyone, welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. Today we're talking more about Procreate, um, the designing app. So today we're going to be talking about how you can make an SVG file um, from beginning to end, starting with Procreate and then using Cricut Design Space. Okay, so in this video we're going to be showing you how to do a quick hack with Procreate to make an SVG. Now this SVG is going to behave like an SVG in Cricut Design Space, but is technically not an actual SVG because we're not exporting it through Adobe Illustrator. All right, so let's go ahead and start making our SVG with Procreate. So we're gonna come to Gallery. We're gonna go ahead and open up a new canvas. We're gonna pick a slightly larger canvas than normal. I'm gonna pick this 3000 by 3000 pixels canvas because with this, we are not um, exporting it um, to be a typical SVG, and so we cannot scale it up or down. So we can't scale it up as big as we would normally want to. It may get pretty pixelated. So that's why we picked a very large SVG. I'm gonna go ahead and drop in our design here. This is the design we are going to be drawing. So I'm just gonna do a begin to end little demo. It may not come out looking exactly like this design, um, but we're just gonna go ahead and start. So let's go ahead and add a layer. We'll make this go away and we'll add a layer. I'm gonna grab a sketching pencil because I always start drawing any type of design um, by sketching it out first. So let's come draw this strawberry, which always gives me problems. I can <laughs> never get this strawberry to look right. It may not look right already. That's the great thing about sketching and that is also the great thing about Procreate is you can do it as many times as you want. Um, and you're not wasting paint or anything on your design. So I'm going to come in here and write my lettering. Let's do your very sweet. All right, so it may not be perfect, but that's okay. This is just our start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my layer, click in, drop the opacity down about halfway and add a layer on top. So now this bottom layer is going to be like our tracing pad. And so I can come in and I can see the different things I don't like about the strawberry, <laughs> which I think it's a little too long. Um, I think we need to make it a little wider. And then we're gonna come in and draw this strawberry top. Okay, I think that looks better. And then anything you think you might want to change about that first layer I thought the lettering looked pretty good, so we won't change much about the letters. But you can just come and do this as many times as you want. Just edit and sketch and edit and sketch until you get what you want. That's a quick way that I, I edit and sketch. Now we'll come in here and maybe um, I'm gonna grab this B. I'm turning that a little, moving up a little. I may grab this Y and turn it a little, move it up. And then this word ended up being really sideways. I'm also gonna make it bigger. Um, and then one thing I wanna do, I'm not liking how this word is looking, so we're just gonna do that same method. Um, take that opacity down, add another layer on top. Um, but I just want to redo this word. So I want to rewrite sweet because I don't like the way that turned out. And I want to write it bigger and taller. Okay, so we only did one part. So we're not going to delete this layer, but we are going to come in and erase that sweet behind it. Instead of erasing, you also can just grab the whole word um, and move it out of the screen. Okay, that looks much better. So now we're gonna merge these layers together. So I'm clicking on the top layer and click merge down. Okay, now we have our sketch design. We're gonna come up here and do the same thing. So we're gonna drop the opacity by half. This is gonna be our tracing layer. Add one more layer and now we're actually going to ink our design. So we're gonna pick a brush. I'm gonna come down to calligraphy and pick one of these brushes. Now I'm going to come to my layer. I'm gonna go ahead and open up that first layer. We're gonna make sure we have our colors saved in our palette. 
So I'm gonna come click and hold on this dark red, put it in my palette, come and hold on that green and put it in my palette. Looks like we already have those there, but just to show you how to do that. All right, so now let's reopen this layer. Let's go ahead and pick the red color. And I have my brush. So now make sure we are drawing on the correct layer. We're on the top layer. So let's come and go ahead and draw this. We'll make that smaller. Let's come draw this strawberry. And it's okay if this first round of drawing is not perfect because we can edit. Let's go ahead and grab the green. I'm gonna make my pencils smaller and draw the top. Color drop that in. Draw that little stem. All right, I'm already seeing how I can clean this up just a little bit. Let's try that one more time. All right, and if you ever want to see what's directly underneath your drawing, you can always drop the opacity of your color. So now we can see those little um, U's we want to actually delete out of the page. So we're not going to draw those on with white. We're actually going to erase them away. So let's click our brush. We're going to come in here and make these little shapes, but we're actually erasing the red. So we're not drawing white on top. We are going to erase. Okay. So now we're going to pull that to full opacity again. You can always click this layer on and off just to look at your designs. That's also helpful when you're sketching um, and you come in and clean up some of these lines. So I'll come in and clean up this stem a little. Let's pull this down. And try to clean up those lines just a little bit here. And clean up this outer edge. All right. So for these um, designs for an SVG, you want the edges as smooth as you can get them. Perfect. Okay, let's do our lettering now. We're going to pick the red again. Let's make sure our brush is at the right size. You can do a little test. Yeah, I think we'll make it a little smaller. Let's go ahead and start drawing in our letters. Okay. Next line. It's okay if you go a little slower. Um, I've been doing this a long time, so I'm pretty used to these brushes. Um, and if it, but if it's your first time, you may need to practice a little bit with what these brushes feel like when you're actually drawing and writing with them. Okie dokie. Now let's take our background layer away so we can focus just on what we drew. Okay, so I'm going to come in, edit my little E's real quick, and my T. Maybe my R looks a little wonky in there. I don't know why. Okay. That looks pretty good. It's nice when your SVG is pretty thick. Um, so we made the lettering pretty thick, not too thin. Um, so you also want it to be smooth on any edge. So we can come in here and make sure all our edges are nice and smooth. So far they look pretty good. All right, the only thing, I'll just maybe make this T a little thicker. Whoops. Okay, so you can, do, you can edit as much as you want. Um, edit, edit, edit. That's the great thing about Procreate. All right, now that we have our design, we are going to make sure it is two different layers to go with the different colors. So we're gonna come in here and pick this topper. I guess we could have done that in the beginning. We could have drawn it separately, but I kind of forgot. So we're gonna come after the fact and go ahead and use our selection tool on the free hand, and I just freehanded it around that little topper. Now we're going to come over here and click select and we are going to pull three fingers down and that is going to show us um, this copy paste menu and we want to cut and paste because we want to cut it out of this design, paste it to a new layer. So we're going to 
choose cut and paste. So that was a three finger pull down to get to that menu. So now let's go back to our layers. Now we see that our green topper is on its own layer now. So for your SVG file, you want your colors um, to be separated. So now everything on this layer is everything that's red. Everything on this layer is everything that's green. So if you have separate colors, you want them to be separated in layers. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and export these um, from Procreate. Make sure that in, in your layers, you go ahead and take away your background color. Background color is at the very bottom of your layer panel. You're just gonna click that check box and that's gonna take away the background color. So it's gonna be a transparent SVG that we're gonna export. So let's go ahead and take away the topper because we're gonna export this red layer first. So make sure your red layer is highlighted in blue. That means your layer is selected. And come over here to this top toolbar. It's your actions menu. Make sure you are on the share button right here up at the top. We're gonna come down and click PNG. So we're just gonna export this as a PNG. And you can save image. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but with the topper. So let's pick that little strawberry top come over to Actions menu, Share, and then Export as a PNG, and save the image. Okay, so we're gonna open up our Cricut Design Space app on the iPad. And we are gonna come click Upload, and select from Photo Library. So there are our two designs that we just did in the iPad. We're gonna pick this first one, the red layer. And go ahead and click next and click next one more time and we're going to pick the one on the left to cut and we need to name it so let's just click berry and save and so we're going to go ahead and choose from there uploaded and click insert and there we have it we're gonna go ahead and do the other part. Ooh. Select from library, grab the green topper, and do all that again. So next, and next, and cut, and name. Let's just put top, and save. There we go. Go ahead and click that topper, and click insert. Okay, so now we have our topper in the design, we're going to click that topper, click edit down here at the bottom, come over to basic cut, click that circle, and we're going to go ahead and click green, so we will remind ourselves that that needs to be cut um, green, and apply that. Go ahead and do the same thing to the red layer, come to edit, oh, it was already on edit, so now we're going to click the color, let's go ahead and pick red, so we remember this is going to be cut red there and go. there you go and when you're ready to cut it out you'll click make it and there you go we have our two different layers ready to cut so whenever you're ready just click make it okay thank you so much for watching this video we hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot now also just remember that this is a svg hack with procreate um, the only reason it worked so well in Cricut Design Space is because we picked an artboard that was large enough to allow that design not to pixelate um, once we scaled it up. If you're interested in learning more about SVGs, Procreate, how to work with Illustrator to make SVGs for Cricut Design Space, I teach a course um, on the Design Make Sell course in the design portion, and you are welcome to find that at the link below, and that'll help you learn more about this process as well. See you in the next video. Bye.